Therefore, I like to say that Artemis II science is the science of us. Artemis II science is the science of humankind and how we'll act as we continue to press the boundaries and explore in deep space. Eastern time or remain in that sphere of influence, meaning. Uh, and there it is, high over the Pacific, America's new ticket to ride to the moon and beyond now in view. Welcome to our briefing today to preview rollout and the Artemis II mission. Taking, taking the crew around the moon, this is going to be our first step toward a, a sustained lunar presence on the moon. Um, so it was 10 days, four astronauts going further from Earth than any other humans ever traveled. Um, we'll be validating Orion spacecraft's life support, navigation, crew systems in the really harsh environments of deep space, um, and that's going to pave the way for future landings. Um, we are on track for our rollout tomorrow morning. Uh, first motion is planned for 7 a.m., and many of our teams will be coming back in uh, on third shift to make those final preparations uh, and, and get ready uh, to roll, like I said, at first motion, uh, 7 a.m. Takes us a little while to get out of the building, um, but about an hour after we get that first motion, you'll begin to see this beautiful vehicle cross over the threshold of the VAB and come outside for the world to have a look. It takes three days to get to the moon, and uh, you know, the crew along the way is going to be doing uh, some additional more detailed checkouts of the spacecraft. We'll ensure that we've got a, a good, healthy spacecraft before we leave Earth. But then, of course, this is a test flight. We want to put Orion through its paces. And then as we fly by the, uh, the far side of the moon here, the crew is going to spend a day in lunar observation. So they're going to, you know, basically spend uh, the day giving their observations on the far side of the moon, which uh, hasn't been seen, you know, parts of it hasn't been seen by human eyes before. So that'll be a great opportunity. And of course, they're going to take a, a fair amount of video and, uh, you know, just have those observations. Uh, I, will, I will caution you that they're a long way from Earth and signals are uh, a little weak at that point. So we will get some video down, but uh, the, real, the real high definition video will be post-flight when they come back. We're rolling out the integrated SLS and Orion for a flight that will carry four of our friends, um, our NASA family members, around the moon and bring them safely back to Earth. Artemis II is a test flight. It truly is exploration. There will be a number of firsts um, that we'll be proving out on this flight. And I like to say that during exploration, science is our toolbox for survival. With that in mind, I'm excited to present to you our Artemis II integrated research campaign, uh, which involves activities across biology, human research, space weather research, uh, and also some planetary geology. Hi, thank you so much for taking my question. I'm just wondering if you... During this flight, we will learn how the spacecraft behaves. Through our research campaign, we will also learn how we, human beings, behave in that same environment. The combination of these two things will help us optimize our time in future missions. We'll be flying a payload called AVATAR, which stands for a Virtual Astronaut Tissue Analog Response. Basically, AVATAR enables us to mimic individual astronaut organs, and Artemis II will mark the first time that these types of devices have been tested outside the Van Allen belts or away from the ISS. We will test if we can use these astronaut avatars as tools. Uh, for measuring and predicting our human response to the deep space stressors. So real quick to conclude here, our integrated research campaign for Artemis II builds upon what we learned in Artemis I, and it sets the stage for successful exploration of the moon and ultimately onto Mars. Our campaign will help us understand the space weather that we'll face during future lunar missions, uh, how to observe the moon and communicate with the support teams here on Earth, and in general, how we will react to, survive, and thrive in that deep space environment. 
Therefore, I like to say that Artemis II science is the science of us. Artemis II science is the science of humankind and how we'll act as we continue to press the boundaries and explore in deep space.